They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and dub it. Cause they got problems on problems. What's going on, people? It's the Xbox. 448 and in today's video guys we are talking about Ori and the Will of the Wisps. For people who don't know, this game is a sequel to a game known as Ori and the Blind Forest. Um when it when Ori and the Blind Forest first released, it was exclusive to Xbox, I believe. It has also gone from Xbox to PC and to the Nintendo Switch. But the sequel is coming out. I call it Ori 2. The official title is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. You will hear me saying Ori 2 a lot in this. That is the game I am referring to. It comes out March 11th. And with talking to, you know, a few gamers out there, a couple of my YouTube buddies, um, there seems to be, people are asking me because I, uh, I, I'm really, really anticipating this game when it releases. People are asking me, is it really going to be, you know, something new? Is it just going to be more of the same when it comes to the original Ori and the Blind Forest? Or have they put enough in there to really, really kind of warrant that different title and that, that sequel kind of like uh status and um you know after listening to what the developers uh moon studios have said about this game seeing some new gameplay streamed on mixer i am happy to report that there are a bunch of really cool new things when it comes to ori 2 and that's what we're going to get into today um i am really really excited for this game and it does seem like, they have definitely added a bunch of things when it comes to the sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about combat, alright? Now, in Ori and the Blind Forest, Ori had a, a little orb of light. It was known as kind of like the eyes of, of, of the life tree. It... The name of it was pronounced, it's S-E-I-N. So I think it's Sane or something like that. I, I don't know if, if I'm butchering the name or not. But that was your primary line of combat. Whenever you 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 hit the, the combat button, it would let out kind of like this, this like lightning bolt is the best way to describe it. And you can see it here. I, I am playing Ori and the Blind Forest. This is Ori and the Blind Forest gameplay going on. Not Ori 2, because, you know, uh, for some rhyme or reason, I, I didn't get a review copy or anything like that. So you are seeing Ori and the Blind Forest gameplay going on right now. But combat, um, that orb, that scene or saying um, is gone. It's not with you anymore. Instead, you have something called the Spirit Edge, which is a sword. And this is a sword that you don't get at the beginning of the game. At the very beginning of the game, you you grab a torch and you're using a, a basic torch as kind of like your 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 offense in combat. And um but as you go through the story, because there's always a power climb, it seems like you know they did it in Ori in the Blind Forest, and I'm hearing that they're doing it in Ori 2 as well. There's going to be a power climb where, you know, you gather new abilities and, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, it's something that I would expect from this playing, you know, the original Ori and, and kind of like getting that feel of, you know, at first not being so powerful, but then over time, this little character becoming incredibly powerful and taking on any of the baddies any of the villains any of the things that are trying to hurt you out in this world and and taking them on and and the combat really feeling satisfying so in ori 2 you are going to get the spirit edge sword and with the spirit edge sword there are going to be kind of like new abilities there's there's like a lasso or a lasso effect 
when it comes to the sword that you can um, kind of like attach yourself or, or kind of like bring yourself towards certain parts of the map so um, you can kind of really get platforming in all directions north south east west um, there's going to be levels in here where you feel like you don't even have to touch the ground you can just keep kind of like lassoing and 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 moving about um without even touching the ground which is really cool that it's one of the main things for for ori in the blind forest that i absolutely love the platforming uh to me was absolutely incredible and it's good to see that they are continuing that and improving it with Ori 2. Now, some people, you know, might be a little skeptical with not having that little orb of light with you. Uh, I know we thought at one point in time that's just going to be a traditional thing that always goes with Ori. But if you beat Ori in the Blind Forest, you know that um, at the ending of that game that, that things were going to be changing. All right. So... With that being said, it seems like, you know, the combat is 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 looking like it's going to be fresh, but it's still going to be Ori. It's still something that, you know, for people who are fans of the first game are really going to get into. But that's not it, people. Um, when it comes down to it, Ori 2 is going to be bigger. Uh, and I, I guess you could say better, but definitely bigger than the original game. And, and one of the reasons why is they have included huge boss battles. Now, in Ori in the Blind Forest, of course, there was a deal with, you know, having to elude the huge, the huge owl. I don't want to say, I was going to say evil, but I don't want to say evil because it's not necessarily evil. But you had to elude kind of like this huge owl that was trying to kind of terminate your light. And, and that was the thing about this owl. That was the thing that made it attack uh, the the tree and whatnot was, was the fact of this light, this light of life kind of like emanating from it. And you are basically a creature of that light. So you inherently glow. All that good stuff. So the owl, you know, at points in time in Ori and the Blind Forest are trying to take you out. Uh, but there's supposed to be huge boss battles. We've already seen kind of like this this bone structure creature in, in some of the, the gameplay promotions. We've seen a huge spider. They're, they're stating that there are going to be huge boss battles where the actual combat is kind of like at the focus and it's not just about running away from this enemy but it's really about like taking them out they are trying to do harm they are trying to kill you and it's going to be a more combat focused part of the game which is something i'm really excited for and and one of the reasons why i'm so excited for that is there are going to be npcs in this game there are gonna be um there's gonna be a a a item seller kind of like a guy with a mask and and a bag over his shoulder hey what do you want to buy so there's gonna be you know in-game currency i haven't heard anything about microtransactions i'm trying not to bring it there i haven't heard anything about it i don't see why they would do it but um in-game currency that you build, you know, you build up over time playing the game and you can spend it on different things. One of them being a kind of like bow and arrow situation. So if you know you you like the spirit edge, but it's really not doing it for you, and you're more of a person that likes to take combat at a distance, uh, you'll be able to get this bow and arrow type weapon that you can use. Not only that, it has um different assists as well like uh i heard from the one of the developers about purchasing this this type of butterfly that you can place in in the game in the scene and it will literally hone in on enemies and shoot them while you are also you know swinging your your spirit edge sword or you know or trying to get through the level or whatnot but it'll help you by attacking enemies as well and that tells me that the enemy difficulty uh should be ramped up quite a bit um they are talking about old enemies coming back but then a, a bunch of new enemies as well and i'm hoping it's new enemies not just in the terms of the bosses because we kind of 
you know, we expect that ever since they announced the, the bosses, but, you know, new kind of like grunt type enemies that, that are interesting. Um, and I think they're going to do that as well, but yeah, you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to grab different things from these NPCs, uh, different abilities, um, different loadouts. And that's another thing you can create different loadouts for Ori and you can switch your loadouts on the fly. So I'm guessing they're going to have some, you know, kind of like you, you set them up for certain buttons, probably like the direction pad or something like that. And, you know, you can be kind of like platforming Ori for most of the level. And then when you get to a boss, you can switch to your your boss killing loadout with with crazy weaponry and, and stuff to help you kind of like fight off the character or whatnot, which I think is really cool. I feel like that brings an added element to a game um, that I absolutely got into when it came out in Ori in the Blind Forest. You know, Ori in the Blind Forest, you did take out a bunch of enemies, um, but they were mostly the smaller enemies and they were mostly the, the ones that were getting in your way, all right? But with having this, this scenario where you can create loadouts for Ori and you can switch to them on the fly, you can play your typical platforming Ori and have kind of like assists that'll help you, uh, you know, cling to the wall better, jump further and stuff like that. And then when you get to that boss, all of a sudden you become boss killing Ori, you know, switch to that loadout where you have a bunch of crazy offensive maneuvers, different assists that'll help you take that boss out i feel like that right there is something that you know is an evolution of ori and the blind forest it's one of the things that like i found out about and i am really really excited can't wait to get my my hands on the game and, and try it out myself now one of the other things which is what i saw in a mixer stream last night because the speedrun community have kind of like adopted Ori in the Blind Forest into their community and, you know, they have started you know, from the time the game released, they, they were trying to beat it in the quickest time and all that good stuff. We're getting an added gameplay called, um, a gameplay mode called Trials, where it takes different sections of the game that have, uh, you know... A start point and an end point in between there are multiple paths to get to the end point you have to pick your you know your preferred path and you have to uh, get to the end point as quick as possible it's basically a race that has multiple ways to get to the end you got to find the fastest route and there are leaderboards. There's going to be a worldwide leaderboard and, of course, a friends list leaderboard, stuff like that. So you can challenge your friends to get through different levels of the game and, you know, as quick as possible. You know, try to beat my score, stuff like that. And that is something I am also excited for. When it comes down to it, uh, it adds to the replay value. Um, I know I will be sending kind of like messages out to my friends on Xbox when I when I get a really good time in trials and I want to see if people can beat it. I will be looking at my friends list in terms of, you know, uh, who beat it in the quickest time and I'll be trying to beat it that way. Uh, another cool kind of like evolution to Ori in the Blind Forest. So with that being said, we have... Uh, the Spirit Edge Sword. We have different weapons that you'll be able to purchase from NPCs. Not only different weapons, but different kind of like uh, add-on, you know, characteristics like that butterfly I was talking about. Um, I believe Unlocked on IGN was really, really kind of like shouting the praises of that butterfly that, that you know, that helped you take out enemies as a mechanic. Um, you know, we have boss battles, which, you know, look absolutely incredible. And you can go online and you can check some of the, the little short animations about them. The spider, that huge kind of like bone kind of like creature that started creeping up on Ori as Ori was hiding under this little kind of like, you know, dead tree log thing. 
Uh, the the boss battles they the bosses look absolutely massive next to Ori, which is really really cool. Something I am looking forward to. Um, you know, just the loadouts as well. I think that's probably one of the the new features of the game. I am really excited about. Really gonna go in and and make kind of like a platforming Ori loadout, and then a a real kind of like boss killer loadout to be able to switch on the fly when whenever I meet up with one of those huge bosses it, it sounds like it's really gonna be an awesome game and at a point in time where you know some platformers have kind of lost their luster you know I, I've seen throughout this generation when like Rayman Le Rayman Legends came out and stuff like that uh you know people got excited for it but I, I think it, you know, the game died fairly quickly. Ori and the Blind Forest came along and shocked a lot of people. And there are people playing this game faithfully to this day. So it, it is a nice new IP. It is a platformer. Um, we're getting the sequel March 11th. I am really, really excited for that. It is a $30 title, but if you have Game Pass, if you have Game Pass, it'll be in Game Pass on March 11th. You know, um, one of the things that Xbox talks about with Game Pass, you know, their their exclusives, their first party games, even though Ori in and of itself is not a first party title, it is an Xbox console exclusive. So, you know, it's going to be in Game Pass day and date. So it, it's really cool to see that a lot of people are going to be able to get their hands on this game. Even people where the game's not really on their radar um, will be able to go in and try it out. One of the things I absolutely loved about the first one is the difficulty level. When it comes to platforming, um, they really... They really go all in on the platforming and really make you think about how you're going to get to the next part of the game, like how you're going to traverse, how you're going to get there. And they've come up with some really creative ways uh, of moving Ori around this world to get to where Ori has to go. Um, I, I think Moon Studios does an incredible job and I cannot wait to see, I cannot wait to get my hands on this game to really feel and experience their evolution of Ori as a character and Ori as a game. I also feel like Ori is a very, what I would call marketable character. A cute little white glowing, you know, floppy eared, but, but absolutely badass when it has all its abilities type character. And I think this is a character that Microsoft and, you know, Xbox, if they want to market a character, this is something I feel like they can really market out there. It's a, it's an absolutely adorable character. It's a character that a lot of people uh, really, really like. So, with that being said, March 11th, Ori and the Will of the Wisps is, is coming out. I've given you some details on how Ori 2 will be different than Ori 1 and how moon studios is looking to evolve the, the the first game going into the second and it looks really cool it's something um i i really want to get my hands on but as usual guys in the comment section let me know what you think after hearing everything that i said do you think that this is just going to be uh another ori are you excited for this game um what do you think about these new abilities these new weapons the the sword the bow and arrow that you can purchase, um, the different abilities that you can purchase from the NPC that will, you know, help your game along. I think it's really cool. I'm, it's something I'm into, but I want to know what you guys think. Uh, as usual, guys, um, if you like the topic of the video, you like the gameplay, you're seeing Ori in the Blind Forest right now, uh, definitely smack that thumbs up button for me. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448, and I am definitely signing off.
They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The 30 is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and double it. Cause I got problems on problems.